Alrighty. Um, as you can see, I have been busy um, putting some embellishments down, starting. I've got a pretty good start. Um, so let me just kind of show you what I've been doing and then I'll add some things here. I did this to give myself kind of a cheat sheet. So this is one way that you can fold your, um, <clears throat> excuse me, zine when you're done. And if you do it this way, just knowing that your front cover is the bottom right and your back cover would be next to that. So if we do that and we fold it in half and then we bring those two out, we've got, okay, so then when you open it, You've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, anyway, you can also fold it differently, and I'll show you that and I'll totally confuse you. <laughs> Why not? You could do it this way. You could do it, actually, you could do it this way. This could be your front, and this could be your back, and you would still have, I mean, there are different ways you could do it. But, this works for me. So that's what I'm showing you. And if you'll notice also, these um, numbers are upside down. But if we turn it this way, then they're right side up. Knowing that when you fold your zine in half, you don't want half of the images upside down. So you um, do your artwork with the top going to the fold. Going to the fold, and if you turn it over, going to the fold, and if you do that, it's going to turn out just fine. And you'll get, you know, your first seam, by the time you're done with your first one, you'll be, it'll be like an old hand at it. It'll be like, oh yeah, I know this. I got this. Anyway, so, that's just to show you what I have done. Crinkle, crinkle. Okay, so this is going to be my front, and we'll just fold this up. Do, 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 pull it out. Do, do, do. All right. And like I had showed you before, folding the front to the back and the back to the front. So we've got page one and page eight. And then if I fold that back page in, then we have this, all right? And remember me when I said the fringe that I wasn't sure how that was gonna work out? Look at this, you guys. I absolutely love it. What a happy, you know, what a happy. Didn't uh, know it was going to turn out that way, but I absolutely love this fringe being on the front page like that. So, as you can see, I'm going to show you what I've done so far, and I stitched on my lace. If I bring this up close, you can see that I also have another piece of fabric. I have frayed this fabric around the edges. I've stitched that on. I've used black thread on all of this, but I also have white thread in here too. Um, some of my pieces, the first piece that I stitched down, like for instance, over here, you'll see I used white thread and I combined and used black thread here. I just did random things, you know, uh, to mix it up. And as you can see, I've got frayed here and paper stitched down, just strategically placed 
you know, just how I like. We're just some things that I enjoy. Um, and that's what, let's take it out a little bit again. That's what this is all about. This, you guys, is really the fun, 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 fun stuff. So you just get to play, you know. You have your little segments and you decorate them. And I liked this image with the butterflies. This is vintage and I like the old fashionedness. So I also stitched that on. So just right here, I have the back. I've got this. Oh, and I've taken off the freezer paper, by the way. Um, there was something that I didn't tell you in the first video that I said to myself, make sure you tell your friends this. And oh goodness, if I haven't forgotten it, oh, maybe it'll come to me um, before, before we finish this, I hope. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. So I've got this background fabric, the muslin. And then I've got, you can see over here, I've even got a little bit of fabric because I overlapped this from one place over to another. Just, just as something I wanted to do. And then I've got this little piece of this little square of vintage fabric that I've stitched down. And then I've got this layer of paper, and this is cardstock, by the way. Um, and then I've got this lace that I've put on here. So all in all, this is quite, um, it's quite dimensional. And yet it's fairly flat. One thing about zines, unless you are exchanging the original if you are making copies and exchanging the copies, then it's kind of nice if your original zine isn't huge with embellishments and puffy because the more rigid and puffy you get with this, um, then your copies might come out fuzzy and you don't want that. You want nice clear copies to send to your friends. Um, if it's a little different if you're sending the original because then you know obviously you're not making copies so you're not going to get fuzzy copies blah 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 all right here I have created a little pocket with fabric and I have stitched on some coffee dyed paper I have glassine I have fabric underneath that glassine. I've got fabric here that you can see I have taken it and it is on one, two, three places that I just wanted a little more interest there. I've got an old vintage piece of ledger paper that I stitched down. This bottom one is stitched in white. This bottom one is stitched in white. These are stitched in black. And this is stitched in white. And then I took some a vintage lace doily that I was given and um, glued it to some coffee dyed glassine uh, paper. And then I stitched around to make sure that this was secured. And then I put the pocket on and stitched in the corners there so you can, you know, make a fun little pocket there. Or you can make a fun little pocket here. Let's turn this. Or, oh, and before we, before we do that, I should, I miss this pocket. I have fabric. I have glassine that I've just doodled just a little bit and and then put another piece of fabric. This is music, but it's on fabric. Stitch those down, stitch this, so I've got fabric, 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 paper, fabric, paper, fabric, 
and I'm not done here. I'll show you what I want to do there in just a minute. So we'll turn it around and we have another pocket. I have taken a doily that was together at one point, trimmed that off a little bit so it would fit on the pocket, and I have lined it. <laughs> that seems kind of funny. Lining your pockets, usually when I do something like that, we're speaking of, of uh, clothes <laughs> or bags, something of that nature. But I lined it with a piece of tissue paper. Here is glassine that has been stitched underneath. Um, and here again is that little piece of fabric that's poking in. I've got fabric here that I have frayed and stitched down in white. And this is a piece of journal I I think I've mentioned before in one of my videos about finding these amazing journals. I couldn't find the owner, but um, their, uh, their family later got rid of them. And so I was like, I adopted this gentleman. But I have um, many of, and it was a man. He worked in the timber. Um, so it was amazing. Love to read it. But this is his handwriting. And this one was in, I'm trying to think. I think they start in 1934-ish. Anyway, so I love that. And I like to include that. And here we've got some frayed fabric that I have stitched on there, this in white and this in black, and the same here, except reversed. Fabric stitched in white and paper stitched in black. You can go as simple or as complicated as you want to go. Um, I have a tendency sometimes to get it a little too, <laughs> you know, the phrase less is more well I'm like more is more <laughs> that's just sometimes occasionally I can do simple oh, all right so now for instance this this is cute just the way it is but what if I wanted to um go through some of my fabrics, you know, pick and pull and little bits and pieces. I'm trying to keep this to a certain color scheme. So, uh, let's see. So, I've got some fun things here. Now this is part of a bedspread. I mean, look at that texture, you guys. That'd be fabulous. Ooh, yum. So I might have to, I might have to cut a piece. Well, let's see, let me get some scissors. Just a sec. All right, excuse me. <laughs> we'll just play here with you for just a minute. Um. A good pair of small fabric scissors in my world is a must. Look, I'm just going to kind of see what we'll pull. We'll pull a little bit out there. All right. So maybe I want to add a little something. Do I like it there? Do I like it here? Do I like it there? That might make it a little too bulky for making copies, but if I were making, sending this one, exchanging or keeping it for myself, um, then that could be nice. However, if I did that, 
then I would only want, you know, perhaps one or two of these, you see? So, let's see. Let's do some more cutting. Oh, by the way, I'm left-handed. Yes, indeed. All right. So if I were going to do that, you know, that would look better than with the three. It still looks okay. Looks okay. I don't know. We'll see. Um, or what if I wanted to bring another piece of fabric in? Maybe I want to do a little bit more stitching, some gluing. Um, maybe I want to put a little piece, you know, another little bit of uh, paper here. So you get the idea, we just layer, layer, layer. You just build. And there's no, there's no right or wrong Whatever you do and whatever makes you happy is going to be wonderful. I mean, yay! You know? So this is absolutely so fun. And if it takes you a long time to do it because you can't decide, you know what? <laughs> Here and now, Rhonda without an H, I give you permission to take as long as you want to be as careful as you want or as sloppy as you want. It's your zine. You do what you want. And I'll do the same, you know? Okay, so you get the idea. Anyway, I'm not gonna spend too much more time except I wanted to show you kind of what I wanna do with this little pocket. This is going to be my back and I have taken this old sheet of ledger paper and I've inked, torn it, and then I've inked around the edges. And I'm going to place that down in this vicinity. Something like, why am I clicking, clucking, like cluck, 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 like a chicken or something? How weird. Oh no. I just started doing that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I will stitch this down. I don't know yet whether I'll use black or white thread, but one or the other. And then this little image is going to be glued right here. And I may or may not stitch this one down. And then I've got some lines here. I'm going to put my name and the date uh, for my zine. And that'll be on the back of my zine. Um, so anyway, just, you know, you guys just have fun. Like I've made some tags from a fun little image. And then I've backed this with fabric. And then I've backed it with a fun journaling sheet. Stitched it. It fits in this little pocket or it fits in this little pocket it can fit in this little pocket and who knows maybe I'll make another pocket over here I've just gotten started over here oh that's cute <laughs> you can see how you know we just kind of get carried away I've got these fun images um, Got some doilies. I did this. I thought, well, this might be kind of a fun little addition. So we'll see. Maybe I'll put that. I don't know. But this is the part where you are just, you know, go crazy. Pull in some fun things. Try something different. But have fun. And enjoy the process. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to stop this right now. I will be back after I finish my zine and I will 
share with you how I have done that. 